Hi, it's Luke Durbridge and uh, we're just going to go through what's in my suitcase for race day. So we're on the, the Green Edge bus, this is our, uh, our good bus. And uh, I normally sit down the back, so I'll take it down the back and we'll go through my race bag. Not many of us like to sit down the back because it gets people sick, but a few of us like to sit down the back and just chill out and get away from the front. So obviously, stack hat, never forget that. Uh, we have a variety of spares here just in case someone forgets it. Um, so yeah, that's always what you need. Uh, my race bag here is pretty simple. At the moment, you have to pack it full of kit um, because it's so cold outside. But uh, yeah, um, obviously, you know, shoes, Shimano there, my sunglasses, I have to keep my shoe, I've lost my glasses case. Um, the SRM, they want a band, but I always ride with them. Um, music, I always sit in the back and chill out with the headphones on and uh, just listen to some music. Um, at the moment, we like to race in these, uh, these long nicks, which are the same as, say, you know, Normal nicks with just leg warmers sewn on, so yeah, they're they're quite good for the cold. Um, rain jackets, um, jersey, some booties, um, and then now oh, this is probably the most important thing is your undershirt. Try and keep your uh, your chest warm. Um, long finger gloves, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I like to always put my race number on the day of the race, uh, so I haven't got my race number for tomorrow yet, so I'll wait till tomorrow morning and I'll be in this place putting my number on, and uh, yeah, that's about it. It's probably it's a bit of mayhem in the bus in the morning, so uh, yeah, you've got six six people down the front, two people up the front, swan years, massage, all that sort of thing happening in here, so it can get kind of crazy, so um, yeah, it's good to try and keep your stuff together so you don't pick up someone else's shoes and glasses and all those things but uh yeah no it's we're quite lucky to have such a nice bus and uh yeah so that's what's in my suitcase for a race and pretty simple but uh yeah you get it down pat after a few races you said you like to listen to a bit of music before a race was well, there anything in particular you like listening to at the moment um i'm a bit of sort of a everything music um just go through different playlists i'm a big fan of uh I go through the Triple J hit list and I just pick songs off and put them into a playlist. So at the moment, yeah, got some uh, just, yeah, lots of variety of music, but pretty much go through that. That's pretty much my uh, guideline of songs on that. And then I just go through that, pick up playlists and listen to that. So yeah, just in the morning, I like to keep it pretty chilled and then I sort of uh, ramp it up with some, uh, some beats before I get out there, especially to get motivated to get out in the cold. You, obviously, the, the weather in Europe at the moment is pretty grim. How in terms of what's in your kit bag at the moment, how much does that change given how cold it is at the moment? You're carrying obviously a fair bit of extra gear. Yeah, like another important thing is that we always carry with us is our wet bag. Um, so we know some of the season, I only got over here late last year and I pretty much and the, didn't even touch this wet bag. But this year I've uh, constantly used it. So in your wet bag, you've pretty much got whatever is in here plus again in here. So in the race, if it gets really cold or really wet, you can uh, put extra kit on. So yeah, it's quite foreign for me coming from Australia, but uh, yeah, I've never raced with so much kit on in my life. But um, yes, yeah, so this is a important thing to have. We all have our wet bags and they go on the car. So during the race, we can drop back and get more kit. If we, uh, if we overdress, we can give the kit away, but if we underdress, we can go get some more. So that's an also a crucial part.